Hello, you long riders, and welcome back. If you're new here, make sure you click down here to subscribe because you won't want to miss any of our awesome tying videos where we bring you videos that you have, can't find anywhere else and flies you can't find anywhere else. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of these flies. And if you've been here, we're going to teach you a Quill Gordon dry fly hackless. And we'll show you how to tie that. And make sure you stay to the end of this video because we're going to tell you why you're going to have to put this fly in your box. And trust me, you're going to want to hear this information involving the hatches and how it works. But anyway, let's get to the fly right now. We already debarbed the hook and started the thread. Started at the eyelet and ran it all the way back to the back of the bend of the hook. Now we tie in some lemon wood duck, measure it for the shank, same length as the shank, and tie it in. And that'll be our tail. Now what we're going to do here is build up a body so our body's bigger because we're going to use the strip peacock coral for the body. And you need that, you know, you don't want it really skinny. You want it a little bit bigger. So you're going to build up the thread. Now we're going to tie in a stripped peacock curl. If you don't know and the first time here and you don't know how to strip a peacock curl, all you do is take one peacock curl and, and take a pencil eraser and run it towards where you removed the, the hackle from the feather itself. So towards the butt end of it, the thicker part of it, you want to take a pencil and go that way, and it'll just remove all the hairs right off. And that's how you strip a peacock curl. All right, here's a little tip for you. We're going to put head cement on this, but you don't want it. You want it to just dry a little bit, not all completely dry, because the, the wet head cement will help cover up and make the hackles stick so that it won't fray or as quick. It makes it more secure, more durable fly. What I do at this point is lick my fingers and rub it up and down the hackle or the strip peacock curl and let it sit for a little bit. It'll wet in that peacock curl and make it so that it don't break. If you don't wet them and they sometimes break a lot on you and it gets frustrating. So we wet it to make it so it don't break. What happened there is I bumped the camera and went out, but I'd wrap that up and I didn't have enough. So this is what you do if you don't have enough uh, strip peacock curl, tie in another one and finish going up to where your thread is. You want to take this almost up to the eyelet or as close to the eyelet as you can. So I tie in another one and I rewrap it so you can watch how we wrap the peacock curl on the back half, tie it in on the front half. Now we're going to trap that peacock curl, one, side, one wrap on one side, one wrap the other side, one wrap the other side, and then cut it off. Now we're going to tie in a wing, and this is floating yarn. What we're going to do is wrap, hold your thread, wrap it around the thread, wrap that around the hook, and that'll hold it fast to the top of the hook, and then you're just going to figure eight it in. Like you would a duck wing or a wood duck wing or any other kind of wing like we did with the old wings we use. But we're going to show you how to do it if you have gray yarn. Or black. Now 
Whip finishes fly. We're almost done. To measure the length of your wings, you just hold a hook up to it. And you want it the same length of the shank of the hook, so where it makes the bend. That's your distance from the eyelet to where it makes a bend in the hook. And just use that to measure your length of your wings and cut them off to the right length. Now you can do another step. You can put head cement all over the pe strip peacock curl and that'll make it even stronger fly. And uh, you can also use these up in the other wings. You can see, I'll show you in this part right here, the wings we used in some other flies. You can use them. I just wanted to show you how to use the thread if you don't have these wings and you have thread. And we use black wings. And I'll wait till the end of this video and I'll just tell you why we use the black. And, uh, well, let's, I'll tell you what, let's take a closer look at this fly right now. Hey, Long Rodders, I hope you liked that video. Um, I got some information to tell you here. Actually, quite a bit. But anyway, one of the reasons we used the black wing is we used to tie we tied a black wing with cap body hair one time uh, two years ago, and uh, we did a, a royal wolf, or not a royal wolf, a uh, gray wolf, and it was basically a Hendrickson, but it had a black wing, and the Hendrickson had the wood duck wing. Well, this black wing worked really really well so we we're fishing both so I had I did research on why it would work and then thought about it one that the uh, the gray wolf was a size bigger it was a size 10 so that's one reason why it worked and I just think they like the black wing over the wood duck um, so we used black wing here and uh, you could use a gray, like I said, you could use them up and down wings we used. And uh, another reason, thing we want to share with you is why you want this fly. Now I explained to you in the wet, in the last video, if you haven't seen, if you're new here and you haven't seen this video, the old videos, go back and watch them. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll give you a chance to watch all the old videos in a playlist. But anyway, um, when they hat, when this, the, the Quill Gordons hatch, they hatch on the bottom of the surface. That's why we use the wet fly. I usually don't use wet flies, but that's kind of the emerger pattern for this fly. So when it hits the surface, it has a long time to sit there, and it sits like right in the film, right? So when you tie a cat skills, it kind of sits up off the water, and this will kind of put it right in the water as it looks like it's drying its wings, and it'll put right at the surface and not up above the surface. And this will make it look like a fly that just came to the surface and it's drying its wings, and they love to hit them when they're drying their wings because they can't move. They're just kind of stuck there. I like to hit them then, wait right before they fly off. Because when they come back to the surface, they're hitting the water and coming off, and it's harder to hit them. But when they're sitting there drying their wings, it's prime time for the fish to eat them. And this will put it right in that water profile to make it look like it's not quite ready to fly off yet. So that's why we did it, the hack list. If you want to see an old hack list, uh, Quill Gordon, I'll put a link up here somewhere for a Quill Gordon video. You can watch the old cat skill styles, but we wanted to cover we covered all them last year we're doing different flies and these are flies that I made that people didn't, you know I didn't get this out of a recipe I make these flies up and they work you know we've already tested them they work so tie yourself some up make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet because you don't want to miss any of our original f flies and wait till you see when we hit the water with them how well they work you want to make sure you tie all these up in these series so that when you hit the water you have the mergers the nymphs and the next one we will be doing is the Hendrickson. I'm glad you guys have amazed me on how this channel is growing. You know, there's people who want to make like, uh, when somebody got a hold of me, they said, could I make a cooking channel or videos and add them? You know, we're going to do a camera review 
coming up probably today or we either paste, post it today or tomorrow of a new action cam I got so make sure you look for that video let me see if I can find it uh, I don't know where it's at right at this time but I will show you that camera and it was under a hundred dollars it shoots a 4k oh just I'll, when you see the camera you have to watch camera review because it's the most amazing action cam I ever seen that and you can you see the difference between this and our old videos this new Canon we got we've spent well over a thousand dollars for our new camera setup so that our fishing videos are gonna be awesome we got two new action cams one for her and one for me that shoot in 4k I mean our fishing videos are gonna go way up in an intensity level and this is uh I bought all this with my own money it's just you know I like making videos for you and I want to make you know when I go back and want to remember me and Tracy's day on Pine Creek I can watch one of my videos on my YouTube and go wow that was a fun day I remember that you know I encourage you to go back and look at our old fishing videos I know when you go back and look at some of the old tying videos we proved so much like some of them are kind of painful to watch we're old videos but there's one on there where I caught a, a big brown trout and a weight too I mean you should go back and check them all out Go back and binge watch our videos it's awesome you want to check out some of the fishing videos and some of the action of the big browns we caught on pine creek and if you any of you come in this area make sure you go to the pine creek slate run tackle shop on pine creek where slate flows into pine creek they have a brown trout club you want to join they stock to brown trout they're over 30 inches it's like the smallest ones they stock are like 29 or 20 inches and then it goes from 20 to 30 plus I mean, it's an amazing club. So if you're coming to this area, it's definitely a destination you want to go check out. And while you're on YouTube, go check out their videos. Slate Run Tackle Shop. Make sure you check them out. And also, go check out my cousin's channel. It's called Team Hanging Outdoors. He's growing. He's having a hard time growing. He needs more traffic. So make sure you go check out his. If you like hunting, go check Turkey. Whatever you want to check out the hunting. He covers the hunting. I cover the fishing. <laughs> so go check out Team Hanging Outdoors. I'll try and get a link below to his YouTube channel. All right. So thank you guys for all watching this video. It's awesome. You know, you guys stick around and uh, subscribe to our channel and tell your friends and the amount of comments I get. There's so much interaction with you guys. It's incredible. Never pictured it we'd grow this big. But we're, and we continue to keep growing and growing. Like I used to, to get our name out when I first started. I used to have to post on Facebook groups all the time. I haven't posted on Facebook groups in the last five videos. But we still, subscriber count goes up. Our view count's going up without them anymore. And that has mean this channel has grown massively. That I don't have to do that anymore to get views and stuff. So... Thank you guys for helping grow our channel. We love you here at Everything Fly Fishing. Stick around. Make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. You're not going to want to miss the action this summer. Keep your lines wet. Aloe trees and only give them fish a sore lip. <laughs>